Today, we are at 5.0 Supercars to showcase an exceptionally special hypercar. Two and a half million pounds. One of only 58 ever made in this world. 986 brake horsepower, 738 pound foot of torque. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the McLaren P1 GTR. The McLaren Gran Turismo Racing Hypercar was manufactured from 2015 to 2016 and this is a 2015 P1 GTR coloured in volcano yellow. Only 375 P1s were ever made and of those 375 only 58 were P1 GTRs and P1 GTRs were only ever offered to original purchasers of the McLaren P1. Of those 58 P1 GTRs, 27 had been converted to road use by a company called Lanzante. This car was offered brand new to P1 owners at £1.98 million. This car is now valued at around 2.35 million. The P1 GTR was made in homage to the F1 GTR. The F1 GTR won Le Mans in 1995, but unfortunately the P1 GTR never raced. It's a track only car, not for road use, unless, as I said, converted by Lanzante. The P1 GTR is powered by a 3.8 litre twin turbo V8 paired with a 735 kilowatt single electric motor. That in total produces 986 brake horsepower and 738 pound-foot of torque. That 986 brake horsepower is separated into 789 brake horsepower for the combustion engine and 197 brake horsepower for the single electric motor. This is delivered through a seven-speed seamless shift dual clutch transmission powered to the road via the rear wheels. Yes. 986 brake horsepower delivered only by the rear wheels and if you can get traction that will scream this car from 0 to 62 in 2.8 seconds to a top limited speed of 217 miles per hour the 27 converted by lanzante for road use have slightly higher performance figures 0 to 62 in 2.4 seconds with a top speed of 225 miles per hour. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, very important for the channel. And if you like our style of content, please think about subscribing. So we're gonna take you for a walk around of this particular P1 GTR. The external bodywork color is volcano yellow. And as you can see from the side of the car, there's decals which describe or detail the five different standard sponsors for the P1 GTR. So for example, you've got SAP, AXA Nobel, Mobile One, Pirelli, and Techno Gym. Those are the five standard sponsors for the P1 GTR. Now there's some differences between the standard P1 and the P1 GTR. For example, these door mirrors, hence the name, they were originally placed on the door for the standard P1, but they've been moved to the A pillars for two reasons, to provide increased visibility for the driver of the car there's only one seat we'll get into that in a minute and also to be able to move the car through the air a lot more efficiently talking about aerodynamics this car has active aero for example if we move to the front you can see this incredible front splitter all made all made in carbon fiber as we move around to the side of the car you can see this aero continues down with side winglets on the side sills and the whole carbon fiber side doors which are incredibly light and then moving down to the rear of the car we have this incredible opened rear section where you can see the engine the gearbox and in effect the whole workings of the rear active aero on this incredible rear diffuser all made out of carbon fiber and moving a little higher we have this rear wing now this rear wing 
shifts with its active aero with the drag reduction system. So it has DRS. The car has a full in canal exhaust system. <laughs> And beneath this in canal exhaust system on this rear diffuser you'll notice that this center section is in matte carbon and this is a heat protected form of matte carbon to protect it against the heat of the exhaust system and as you can see here also the hinges of the rear wing section when the drag reduction system is is implemented you can see how it hinges to produce that drag effect and to reduce the drag effect obviously when it's in its normal central plane. Before we move to the interior of the car I just wanted to show you the car with the doors open. Look at these stunning lightweight gull wing carbon fiber doors and the car it just looks absolutely incredible. This is a 2.35 million 986 brake horsepower hypercar. Now let's move to the interior of the car and that is in itself exceptionally special. Now the first thing you'll notice is how low the car is. I'm struggling to get low enough so you can see me through the car. The whole car is built around the single carbon fiber monocoque to be able to provide that incredible strength to the chassis of the car. And this is obviously the same as the P1. As you'd expect for a hypercar race car, most of the operations are on the steering wheel. Now I managed to download an owner's manual for this car and it pretty much just covered off the functions of the steering wheel. You've got operations such as drag reduction system, you've got instant power assist system which in effect is push to pass. That provides you all the brake horsepower of 986 brake horsepower in a single push so it enhances the standard brake horsepower to give you that extra acceleration to pass cars on a racetrack. The central rotating switch gear provide different setup operations of the car. On the right hand side you've got for example the different driving modes which are wet, track and race. On this center console you've got this these separate levers one for each door which are incredible large levers you can imagine if you need to get out the car pretty quickly then you need to have big levers if you've got gloves on as well to be able to gain access and open up the doors. You've got this single race seat. This is again, very, very lightweight carbon fiber, very, very much a snug fit with sub out full harness setup. Also on the side of the carbon fiber seat, you've got this side flap, which is actuated by a cable electronic system, which provides you better access to gain access into the car because it's such a small venturi to be able to ga gain access into the car. You wouldn't be able to gain access unless the actual side flap of the seat opened up to allow you in. Also, you're kept in place by this three point sub out harness. The internal cabin as you'd expect is made out of pretty much all lightweight carbon fiber and you have some beautiful Alcantara on the side of the seats and on the side sections of the dashboard but only very limited most of it is in matte carbon fiber or gloss on the sill sections that you climb over to get into the car what this car screams internally and externally is race car. Our thanks go out to 5.0 Supercars and Super Vitura for providing access to this incredible McLaren P1 GTR. Very much appreciated.